In computer science, syntactic sugar is syntax within a programming language that is designed to make things easier to read or to express. It makes the language sweeter for human use. Things can be expressed more clearly, more concisely, or in an alternative style that some may prefer. For example, many programming languages provide special syntax for referencing and updating array elements. Abstractly, an array reference is simply a procedure of two arguments, an array and a subscript vector, which could be expressed as get array, array, vector, i, j. Instead, many languages provide special syntax like array, i, j. Similarly an array element update is abstractly something like set array, array, vector, i, j, value, but many languages provide syntax like array, i, j, equals value. Specifically, a construct in a language is called syntactic sugar if it can be removed from the language without any effect on what the language can do, functionality and expressive power will remain the same. Language processors, including compilers, static analyzers, and the like, often expand sugared constructs into more fundamental constructs before processing, a process sometimes called desugaring. Origins The term syntactic sugar was coined by Peter J. Landon in 1964 to describe the surface syntax of a simple ALGOL-like programming language which was defined semantically in terms of the applicative expressions of lambda calculus, centered around lexically replacing I with, where. Building on Landon's distinction between essential language constructs and syntactic sugar, in 1991, Matthias Fellison proposed a codification of expressive power to align with widely held beliefs in the literature. He defined more expressive to mean that without the language constructs in question, a program would have to be completely reorganized. Later programming languages, such as CLU, ML and Scheme, extended the term to refer to syntax within a language which could be defined in terms of a language core of essential constructs. The convenient, higher-level features could be desugared and decomposed into that subset. This is, in fact, the usual mathematical practice of building up from primitives. Notable examples, augmented assignment or compound assignment operators, for example, a plus equals b is equivalent to a equals a plus b and c in similar languages. Parallel assignment, several assignments can be combined in one statement. For example, a equals x, b equals y can instead be written as a, b equals x, y. This is particularly used for exchanging the values of two variables, where in some languages one can write a, b equals b, or instead of temp equals a, a equals b b equals temp. Properties, the construct may be called syntactic sugar euro it is roughly, but not exactly equivalent to a getter set a pair of functions. Operator, using an operator is semantically equivalent to calling a function, for example a plus bc equates to add, a, multiply, b, c. In the C language, the a, i, notation is syntactic sugar for, a plus i. The using statement in C ensures that certain objects are disposed of correctly. The compiler expands the statement into a try finally block. List comprehension in Python. Decorators in Python. Criticism Some programmers feel that these syntax usability features are either unimportant or outright frivolous. Notably, special syntactic forms make a language less uniform and its specification more complex and may cause problems as programs become large and complex. This view is particularly widespread in the Lisp community, as Lisp has very simple and regular syntax, and the surface syntax can easily be modified. For example, Alan Perlis once quipped in epigrams on programming, in a reference to bracket delimited languages, that syntactic sugar causes cancer of the semicolons. Derivative terms, syntactic salt, the metaphor has been extended by coining the term syntactic salt, which indicates a feature designed to make it harder to write bad code. Specifically, syntactic salt is a hoop programmers must jump through just to prove that they know what's going on, rather than to express a program action. For example, Java will not allow a float value to be assigned to a variable declared as an int without additional syntax explicitly stating that intention, 
while C and C++ will automatically truncate any floats assigned to an int. In C, when hiding an inherited class member, a compiler warning is issued unless the new keyword is used to specify that the hiding is intentional. To avoid potential bugs owing to the similarity of the switch statement syntax with that of C or C++, C requires a break for each non-empty case label of a switch even though it does not allow full through. Syntactic salt may defeat its purpose by making the code unreadable and thus worsen its quality a euro in extreme cases, useful code may be shorter than the overhead introduced to satisfy language requirements. An alternative to syntactic salt is generating compiler warnings when there is high probability that the code is a result of a mistake a euro a practice common in modern C++ C++ compilers. Syntactic saccharin, other extensions are syntactic saccharin and syntactic syrup, meaning gratuitous syntax that does not make programming any easier. Notes. References. This article is based on material taken from the Free Online Dictionary of Computing prior to November 1, 2008 and incorporated under the relicensing terms of the GFDL, version 1.3 or later.